truly is an honor to be here on this great occasion. I made one request to Tola Thompson, and that was uh, to make sure the podium is high enough for ordinary people. <laughs> but I think I'll do the best that I can. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here this morning at an institution that I dearly love. Coming here on campus is so familiar to me. It seems that I've come here all my life, from the time that I was a young man to the time that I entered college. To the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, student, alumni, friends, and our distinguished president, James Hammond who took up lead at FAMU when the road ahead was fought in crisis. The trustees choose a leader who views challenges as opportunities. I think Dr. Emmons is somewhat like Septima's points at a clock the mother of the civil rights movement, who said, I have great beliefs in the fact that whenever there is chaos, it creates wonderful thinking. Thank you, Dr. Emmons, for providing leadership that has helped us to view chaos as gifts and opportunities. I am also honored to be on stage with such distinguished platform guests. As I see Reverend Dr. Claudel, Cla Claudel, a young lady that some 30 years ago kind of adopted me as a son, a young lady that was really involved, that most of your students might not know, and the movement in Mississippi and civil rights and helping those who were less fortunate. Those are great shoulders to stand on. And when I see the presidents that are here, Dr. Walter Smith, whom I had the opportunity to work with for many years in the legislature, a tenacious individual, one that will always be recognized in history as a fighter and a leader, bringing architecture to school to this university and many other programs. And a young man in the name of Fred Gaines that grew up about a thrown store from this university, had the opportunity to excel and do many things across this country, especially in the state of Alabama as a leader, and come to this university with great pride, and to lead us during a time when we need significant leadership. And I also must mention my good friend, private relatives, and the person that I played models with as a young man. And that is Dr. Henry Lewis. Little did we know, Henry, that we would be where we are today. Dean of the School of Pharmacy. Never could beat me in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> but little did we know that we would have the opportunity as young people to make an impact on this university. And I would like to acknowledge all of you those of you who are leaders in your own right in education throughout this university and throughout the world. What I want you to think about as we celebrate the founders of FAMU is that around 1890, 17 institutions of higher learning was created to educate Negroes, but limited funds provided to do so. Against all odds, great people with great minds conspired to make family what it is today. Those was trying times for people of African American descent in the United States of America. It was 22 years after the Civil War and 11 years after Reconstruction ended. A side note, Florida played a role in bringing all of the in, all the ends to Reconstruction. The former end of Reconstruction was brought about in a dispute in 1876 presidential election. The Democrat candidate Tilden won the popular vote, but neither candidate initially had the majority of electoral votes 
to the 